Good morning guys, it's been a hot minute since I've uploaded slash had a video like this. So, hello, how are you guys? Hope you're doing well. I wanted to really show you guys what a like production week looks like for me because if you're new here, if this is the first video you're watching of me, I have my own brand. I make everything myself. It's all made to order. So production weeks probably look a lot different than it does for most small businesses or any sort of company because I feel like most people, you know, make stuff and then sell it instead of selling made to order. So usually how it goes for me is like I have launch days, I sell, I put in like a set amount of stuff that I know I can make within like a week or two slash I have enough fabric for and then it sells, I get people sizes and then I make them that way I have no excess inventory and you know, it's a more sustainable way of making stuff and also that just helps with size inclusivity as well. If like I have a certain style of something that literally only sells in a size medium, it would be a waste to make a bunch of like, extra smalls and smalls and larges and extra larges and all that stuff. So it just kind of helps for all of us. For me, honestly, financially, it helps a lot because I don't have excess. So there's no excess material waste necessarily. So that would be like a lot of material costs going to waste. There's more opportunity for everybody to get their own size. Like, so you don't have to worry about your size running out. I don't know, I feel like it's a win-win situation for all of us but anyway that is kind of the gist of my brand and whatnot I make clothing men's and women's now so I'm very excited so today is September 18th I launched last night my new collection I'm very excited about it. I've been working on this one for so long literally since June I've had the first like sample of it so this one has definitely been the longest in the making of all of them but I really wanted to perfect it before I put it out so I'm very excited that it's finally here and last night we sold out of a lot of things really really fast you guys are literally so incredibly fast to buying stuff which amazes me every time i literally launched at 5 30 and i have people at like 5 31 placing orders like that is insanely fast don't know how y'all do it but you do and it's really really freaking cool so so that means today is the first day of production and whatnot so i wanted to bring you guys along with me i'm kind of gonna do like a week in my life type of deal even though i'm starting on a friday which is the end of the week but it's kind of the start of the week for me because i launch usually at the end of the week so i printed out all of the invoices from last night and i'm just gonna go through them and see which ones i can already send out because some people only buy accessories like tote bags or headbands scrunchies whatever it may be and those i do have pre-made just because there's no need for me to make them to order i only have like very few of them anyway so those i can send out right away but if they do order like a shirt or pants or something then i'm gonna put that in a separate pile because obviously that means i have to make that as well i'm gonna separate these out and then we'll get to packaging all of those orders and probably sending those out today and then we'll get started on all the other stuff. So the next step is to print out all of the shipping labels. So I use Pirate Ship for that. It's this website that kind of just brings in all your orders from Squarespace, which is the platform I use for my website. And you can just print them out directly from there. They give you like the slightest bit of a discount, but like I really don't make any money off the shipping. So whatever the shipping cost is, is literally probably what it costs me, maybe 50 cents less. So like nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and print those out because once I print those out, then it sends them an email being like, oh, like your order is gonna be shipped or like, here's your tracking number. I don't know what the email says i obviously have never ordered from myself but yeah so that tells them that their order is going to be on their way very very soon which is wonderful oh shoot we just got another order in that little minute um so i'm gonna have to print that one out too but okay let's do it <laughs> So I printed all of these out, super fun. Now that I'm sitting at my laptop, I always have my email up because I get a lot more emails than you would think. I realize I haven't really checked them today and I haven't actually gone through them and I have a few things I actually need to get through. So I have a potential sponsorship and then I also have an invitation for this virtual Zoom call thing. So I'm gonna respond to those really quick and I also have a few custom orders to respond to. Gonna do that and then we will pack up stuff. So now it's time to pack it. Ah! 
So now that I have it all laid out, then I go over to my little shipping station here. And here's where I have everything. So I have my note cards here. I have my business cards, my stickers, and my pollen mailers, and little wee care cards. And then my tissue paper sits up here because there is no way to properly store this. So now I'm going to write all of these little cards. I always write a little note to everybody just as a personal thank you. Yeah, let's get, let's get writing. So now that I wrote all the letters, I go ahead and package everything up. I'm also going to time lapse this on my phone for TikTok because TikTok content is also important to, you know, help grow, especially since I do still have some stuff left of this since I made so much more than I usually do. So I have all the packages here. I just took a picture of them. I'm going to post it onto my stories and be like, yo, if you got accessories, they're packaged. I think it's important to always keep people updated on stories. So I try to do that as much as possible. It's kind of difficult to keep up with posting consistently every single day while actually also making products and trying to do all that. So I try my best. I'm probably gonna take these over to the post office a little later. I kind of want to figure out kind of what my schedule is gonna be for today and the rest of the week, kind of see what my daily goals are gonna be of like what I wanna get done each day, which orders, how many, all of that kind of stuff. It's always really important to plan those things out because I think it would be really chaotic to kind of go like one order at a time. I kind of like to get as much done as I can all at once, especially Actually, like the t-shirts are pretty easy and fast to make so like maybe I can just do those all in one day I don't know maybe not so I like to kind of figure that out kind of get myself a little schedule going a bit of a to-do list for every day so that's kind of what I'm going to do right now but as I said I'm going to post on to my Instagram and also get ready to post something later today I try to post every single day on Instagram because I know consistency is important but literally my Instagram has been doing so poorly lately and it's so annoying because I guess the algorithm changed again and now I literally get like a third of the engagement that I used to get. It's really frustrating so if you really like uh, a content creator or a small business or something like that uh, please make sure to interact with their posts because they're killing us over here but yeah so I'm gonna do that real quick kind of figure that all out and then we'll get started with actually making stuff probably. <laughs> So I just put that story up on my Instagram and I went in to try to make a TikTok with the videos time lapses that I made and I realized I literally put it on slow-mo instead of time lapse for one of them. So that is really frustrating. But right now I'm going to take all of the invoices real quick and I like to usually use this little notebook. These are beautiful examples of how I organize my time, but I usually like to write out what item it is and then I write the order number and the size just so I have a full list of say like the black t-shirts if I I think I put out seven is what I had enough fabric for so like I like to write all seven of them write down all the sizes the order number etc just so I have it all in one place so that when I'm cutting them out I can just kind of mark them off and see them all together it's easier than going like one invoice at a time so that's what I like to do So this is what it kind of looks like. I like to write the number just so I remember which order it is. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with the t-shirts just because those are faster and easier to kind of get out of the way. And since I only have like, I think four pairs of pants to make or five maybe, um, I kind of want to do those with a little bit more time under me and whatnot. I also, I ordered the zippers for the black trousers and those haven't come in yet, but they're probably gonna come in soon. So I do have to wait on those anyway. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated with what I do next. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. Decided that TikTok is my next step. So I am currently putting that together. I have to do my voiceover. I always take so long to do these because I'll start and be like, hey, hey, 
Hey, and I never like how it sounds, so here we go. takes so long to do okay i think i'm just gonna go ahead and upload it it's 11:45. i feel like that's a decent time to upload so since it is kind of late i'm going to maybe just make some other social media posts and stuff and wait till my mom gets home for lunch i usually have lunch with her when she comes home from her break once i'm done with lunch then i think i'm gonna go ahead and start on some of these pops and then eventually go to the post office as well so it's a lot later, it's about 1.15 right now. I had lunch with my mom and whatnot. I figured out more stuff that I need to do, answer more emails and whatnot before that. But yeah, I still have not gotten into production yet because I've had a lot of stuff to kind of deal with and post. And I like to kind of stay on TikTok and Instagram right after posting for like about 15 minutes or so at least to answer back to people. But like I said, engagement has been so low recently, which is really frustrating. So, you know, trying my best, posting as much as I can, hopefully trying to reach more people. But that's that. I think I'm going to go to the post office right now to drop off all these packages. So let's go do that. So I just got back from the post office and there was a package. I'm pretty sure these are the zippers that I was literally talking about earlier. So uh, let's open these up real quick. I got my zippers. I ordered a lot of them just, you know, to have. They're jean zippers, so they're like sturdier, heavy duty, seven inch. So uh, I can definitely start the pants soon, so that's really good. I thought these would take longer to get here, but they're here, so that's good. I think I'm actually gonna start on the black t-shirts today. That is what my brain is telling me to do. Yeah, that's that. I think I'm gonna get started on these shirts. it is the next day i kind of already started working and forgot that i was kind of somewhat vlogging this week slash however many days i decide to vlog but i'm getting started on all the embroideries for the black t-shirts i finished cutting them out yesterday so today i just want to get them all embroidered so that i can go ahead and sew them all i honestly think i can probably get them all done today or tomorrow because they're relatively simple to make they're not very complex they're just t-shirts so have them all laid out here and i got one already embroidered i am getting this one ready to embroider and yeah it's all going smoothly thus far so that's always good i'm gonna try to get a lot of tiktok content kind of done while these get embroidered so that's kind of the vibe <laughs> quick update it's been a few hours i've kind of been going at it all of them are fully embroidered now so i have all of them done and i have three of them sewn and just ready to be hemmed and then i just need to do the collar for all of those and then these four are ready to be sewn i just have to cut off the stabilizer off the back of them but yeah pretty good progress so far it's taking me a lot less time than i 
envisioned in my head so that's really good i am very excited to get these done i can definitely get them done today or tomorrow depending on how much time i decide to take on them today but that is the update on that i will keep you guys posted good morning guys it is actually the next day i ended up not really filming anything else yesterday because i went out with my family and whatnot but i am almost done with the t-shirts i just have to hem them they're all pretty much sewn together i just have to do the hems and then do the uh what's it called the collar part of it and that's it pretty much so that's that i'm currently working on my social media though i have been really trying to kind of plan it out more and have it all ready to go so i don't have to think about it every single day so that's something that has actually been really helpful to me like scheduling posts and having them ready and scheduling my feed and also uploading to pinterest has been something that i've been working on because i've heard that it's really good for your products to put them out there and it makes sense like i spend a lot of time on pinterest like i scroll through so many pictures and images and have so many saved why would wouldn't mind be part of those that people could save you know so i've been doing that i use the app or like the website planoli so like that's that i'm currently figuring out all my pins i think i'm going to schedule a bunch for this week i have pretty much all of my products currently up there right now but i have more detail shots of products that i want to slowly be putting up as well so that's what i'm going to do right now and then i'm going to go ahead and sew the t-shirts but i want to get this ready for this week and i also need to figure out my post for this week or for today I kind of want to start doing like a sustainability Sundays kind of thing on my Instagram. So I want to do some research for that and kind of set up how I want to do that because I want to do my like on my stories, I feel like is the easiest way to do it and maybe an in feed post as well, but that's kind of the vibe. So I wanted to kind of figure this out first really quick and then I'll work on the t-shirts later. <laughs> update i just kind of finished with all the social media stuff that took me for freaking ever but i'll show you guys what i did i make all this stuff from scratch because like i know how to use illustrator because i used it for school so i kind of would prefer to do that than to get generic templates and do stuff so obviously my stuff's not as great as if a professional graphic designer did stuff but I prefer it to be made by me than for me to use templates. So I'll show you guys what I did. So these are my stories. I did the, like a little sustainability Sunday, then tensile, what is it? How is it sustainable? And then, you know, like each time you click through, it'll show a different fact. And then it goes this way, where have I used it? And then black trousers, whatever. I ended up not using that at all because I thought it just looked weird, but that's my stories. And then these are the graphics I've made. I made this one too, which honestly I think turned out real good. Um, I don't know, I was very proud of it. Looked pretty legit. And then this is the one that I posted today, just talking about what slow fashion is. But I definitely want to start doing more graphics. I think they look really nice on the feed. I think that my feed just looks a lot nicer whenever I have like nice breaks of graphics. I feel like this one, I, I wish I didn't do it like so bright white, but that's okay. But I think that that looks a lot better than when it's just like a bunch of pictures i guess like i don't know it just feels like a little too much but like i like this in there like this is just i don't know i like the look of these graphics now and especially like the gray i like the gray with all my pictures it kind of like blends it in nicely better than like the white does because the backgrounds of these are technically white but because it's a picture it's slightly grayish you know what i mean like not bright white so i changed my highlights to also be gray and then i'm gonna save all of my things on here as i start putting them up so there's that so now i guess i'll actually work on the t-shirts real quick and just hopefully finish some of them i want to get them packaged so i can go send them out tomorrow and then get started on maybe the pants tomorrow or something maybe the other shirts i do have two white shirts that i need to make i just obviously didn't want to change out my serger thread yet so i haven't done it but yeah that's that's what we're gonna do <laughs> I just went and got my nails done um so i'm gonna continue the video now but that is why my nails are a different color and i'm dressed differently so 
I just finished all of the shirts. They are all ready to go. Two of them go with pants slash with other things, so I can't send those out yet, but four of them are ready to be sent out. So all I'm gonna do is iron them really quick and then package them all up. So I just finished packing everything up and I have seven packages to take to the post office tomorrow. Very excited to take those over. I kind of got a lot out of the way this weekend, which I didn't think I would. Just because I wasn't necessarily working all weekend, I did take quite a few breaks and just like hung out and whatnot. Cause I'm trying to be a little more relaxed on weekends, even though I definitely worked, but still trying to not push myself too much on that aspect of things. But now I really only have pants to get through and the two white tops, which is not really a big deal at all. I can definitely knock those out this week. And I do also have three custom orders that I need to get through. So I feel like I've got enough going on this week that it'll be like good. But yeah, that's kind of it. That's my update for today. I think that's all I'm really gonna do. I might do some more like social media stuff later today, but nothing big. I'm just planning out posts. I want to do another photo shoot for this stuff actually, because I think I'm gonna make it more of a permanent type of collection. I'm not just gonna like, oh, it's over and it's done. Like I do kind of wanna keep it. Like I wanna start developing certain styles that people can attribute to me and be like, oh, like that's a Natalia t-shirt that like you can go buy whenever. I wanna have like certain styles that just like never leave my store. So I think these, at least for a while, I'm gonna keep them up. So I wanna get more content in them because I didn't think I would need that much content. And now I'm like looking back, I'm like, shoot, I need more content. So I texted my friend Lauren, who is Carly's sister, if you guys have been following me for a while. She's a photographer and she is literally my neighbor and she is also just like working from home and whatnot. So I asked her if she wanted to shoot this week or I guess I didn't really say this week. I just said in general. But yeah, so hopefully I can shoot with her so that, I don't know, I get more content for my Instagram and also for my Pinterest. I wanna get more content for that because I'm seeing a lot of growth on that as well, which is really good. So I definitely need more content for it as well. So those are the things that I'm kind of working on, kind of more behind the scenes stuff, but yeah, I will catch you guys tomorrow and see what I'm up to then.